This robot right here, which looks like it came straight out of a Hollywood sci-fi movie slash Bugatti dealership. This is for cleaning your pool. Straight from the world's leading smart pool manufacturer, Iper. So yeah, this is the Seagull Pro, but is it actually as good as it looks? Let's find out. New drip. I got the new drip from Iper. This is the Seagull Pro pool cleaning robot. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box, that's the top of course, nice box, that's the front, nice carrying handles on both sides, so this is one side and this is the other side right here and then we also have this side looking sick, so let's open it up. So right on top we have this and also this right here, this nice cover, it's looking so cool. Then we have this envelope with all the paperwork and then right here a box with all the accessories namely the hook and the charging brick let's take out the padding and here we go box is now empty and before we get to the machine let's of course take a look at all the accessories so again we have this and this on the back check it out then we have this nice looking envelope so in here, as I said, we have all the paperwork. Multi-language FAQ right here and this, super handy to have. And here, of course, a multi-language, super detailed manual. So we have the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. And lastly, we also have this box, as I said, with the hook and the charger. And that is quite a mighty brick. So we have the front, well, the top with the LED indicator. Sides are just blank. And down here we have all the specs and the details. Check it out right here. Then we of course have one side for the wall outlet and the connector for the robot. And right here we have the retrieval hook that you can put in just every, you know, these pool filter, pool net poles. Let's go. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is legit looking like a sports car. So we have this side with the wheels. Then the back is looking so legit like a sports car with this, well, with the rear spoiler actually. And this is also the, the release mech, well, the opening mechanism. <laughs> this is genius. Such a cool design. Then we also have this side, of course, and you can easily grab it right here, by the way. And also the front is looking so spacey. Absolutely amazing. And lastly, the top with the... Oh, oh my goodness. That is feeling so nice. Let's take that off. Actually, I will leave it on because it says wall, auto. It's a little tutorial on there and this side as well, the bottom. And it, it's very stable just like that. So you can, you could also store it like that. It has a smaller footprint like that. And yeah, here we have the intake and the brushes. This is so cool. All right, let's take a close look. Oh, it's looking just so nice. So again, we have the intake right here. Here we have all the details, safety notes, specs. And we have these bristles right here. We have the main scrubbing brush right here. And you can actually turn these. Ah, and this is geared. You can see the gears right here. So the brushes can actually turn the, the wheels, but not the other way around. Well, a little bit at least. This is what the wheels look like. Rubber wheels, good friction right there. They will stick to the surface of every pool very well, for sure. Here we have it again from the front. So this thing right here is the, the carrying handle. Nice color details, metal inlay, looking really nice. Well, it's not actual metal, but it's looking like it. Chrome look, looking amazing. And again, the rolls in the front and the general shape is just lovely. Here on top, we have the wheel. And we can cycle through the modes. Ah, okay. We can only go this direction. Two, three. Wall, floor, auto, and off again. Yeah, now I can actually remove this. Here we also have the turbines, the motors, that will keep the vacuum sucked to the ground or to the walls. And again, this amazing shape here on the back. 
with the hatch again the back legit looking like a bugatti <laughs> or something like it amazing down here we have the bristles and now let's take a look inside the hatch so that's the inside right here and this is also where the filter sits so we have a handle right here so we'll snap in place we can just pull it out and this is what it will look like inside of the hatch nothing too special in there it will just get sucked through here and then through here of course and thanks to this mesh cage right here it will of course get filtered well talking about the water of course it will enter down here this lid will close when the when it will stop and the front the side the back and the other side and again top with the handle nice branding on the handle as well and just like that we can open it up that's the thing from the inside and also right here very intuitive so let's put it back in and just like that we are ready to go okay so i think it yeah, it just wanted to start, but it will detect that there is no water and that's of course no good. So smart detection, love it. This thing is not dumb. Good stuff, now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. Quickly, quickly, so pool size all the way up to 300 square meters. <laughs> so that's quite a lot if you ask me. Charger output 30 volt, around 30 volts at, at 9 amps. That's quite a lot of power. Charging time, that's why it's only 90 minutes to fully charge it. The battery life is up to 180 minutes. It is IPX8 waterproof. Max water depth 3 meters or 10 feet. The motor power is 70 watts. And the battery pack in here is 9000 milliamp hours. And the battery pack voltage is at 25.2 volts. We have a few precautions. So the operating temperature is from 10 to 35 degrees C or from 50 to 95 Fahrenheit. So this is of course optimal. We have pH value of 7.0 to 7.4. Chlorine maximum 4 ppm and natrium chloride max 5000 ppm. And the LED indicator, the charge level is 90% or more when it's green, blue 50 to 89%, yellow when it's getting empty 10 to 49% and red when it's less than 9%. All right, not bad, right? And now let's finally test it. And by the way, the charge port is right here. Neat sound when you open it up and don't forget to close it up so that the water won't get in. Okay, so here we go. Honestly, I'm really sorry for what's about to come. You do not deserve this. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Oh, GG, GG. Look at that. This will be one, <laughs> one gruesome test for this little guy. Ah, this pool, oh my goodness. It will only take a few weeks for it to look like that. Absolute madness. A pool literally needs constant love and care. And with a robot, it just gets so much easier. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, oh boy, it's, it is pretty bad. I will just go for the auto mode and drop it in. There it goes. It should be almost fully charged. And I think it's about, it's about to get started. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> this is so cool. So yeah, as you can see, it's really, really bad. Okay, let's go for a time lapse. There's a clear section right here where it already did the trick and it will probably take more time for it to finish the this dirty pool, but I just wanted to show you the, the hook. This will fit into any of these poles, just like that, you know, with this net. And with this, you can just grab the robot without actually getting into the water. So just like that. Oh, it's super light too. Oh, so again, thanks to the auto off feature, it will just recognize that it's out of the water and this way you can lift it out just like that. And now let's see. Oh my God, oh my God, this is completely filled. I can't believe it. So if you have a dirty pool like that, you definitely need to empty this out from time to time. Okay, I need to clean this up. Definitely need to clean this. It's 
So just like that, we are ready for another round. So let's keep going. And in you go. You're doing a good job. Keep it up, keep up the great work. Goes without saying that the pool was in complete disarray. This is day one, just ripping through the biomass. Look at that. I'd rather have a super small filter like this one that I have to clean a lot, but that's also catching all those nasty larvae. That is an amazing filter. This is day two and with this amount of slimy biomass you need to clean out the filter quite a lot. This will of course also disrupt the cleaning cycle. And this is day three. I have added all the necessary additives to stop the biomass from reproducing and going wild. And this would be a proper and you know the usual working condition for this robot. Now you can also perfectly see the crisscross pattern on the floor and also how it's doing all the walls perfectly. And with the water properly treated, the filter won't get clogged up as you can see in a second. And all in all, it did a, an amazing job, especially thinking about the nasty biomass that it had to get rid of during the first two days. Here you can see it doing the walls. And one thing that surprised me was the battery life. It actually lasted way longer than expected because I did at least three times as much cleaning on day one and day two without actually recording it because my phone was already dying after around three hours. So it just got done with a full cleaning cycle. As you saw, it also did the walls and now I'm curious. Let's see what it got. So yesterday I put in the chlor, the chloride, the pH minus and also other stuff and it's looking beautiful. Now we just need a finer net to get off all the stuff from the surface. But the walls and the bottom is looking shiny. It's looking perfect. And in here we got the last of the biometer and also, oh wow, this is full with these larvae actually. Oh my God, that is nasty. Oh my God. So that is awesome. This thing did an amazing job. So yeah, big thumbs up from my side. Perfect. The whole fleet from Iper is just looking breathtakingly amazing. They look so futuristic and they got that sci-fi flair. I love it. Just look at those bots, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. But anyways, to answer the question from the beginning, is it actually as good as it looks? Well, as you saw, yes, definitely. This thing is awesome. It did everything that it promised and more. It handled that warped pool floor so well. Thanks, of course, to the powerful quad motor in here. The controls are so easy and intuitive. Three easy to understand modes, great control wheel that will also double up as the battery indicator. This thing just works straight out of the box. There is no dumb app needed and no issues at all. And it's also cordless. It will charge super fast. It will last long. It's easy to handle, easy to access. It even has carbon accents. It's just so cool. Yeah, and as you saw, it's amazing in collecting all the dirt, all the debris, getting the pool super clean without any effort from my side. <laughs> and I love that. Goes without saying, I guess. No more manual pool cleaning. It is also way better than the sand filter. This thing literally got everything, while the filter often just does not. The result with this is a nigh perfect. It will literally scrub the dirt of the floor and of the walls. Totally recommended and also totally drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy it and I will see you soon.